you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. This video demonstrates how to configure application rate limiting and QoS traffic shaping using the Unleashed user interface. Application rate limiting and QoS traffic shaping are very important in enterprises and schools, for example, where they want to rate limit specific applications. Traffic shaping ensures that IT can prioritize critical applications for performance so productivity is not affected when users are accessing other applications that would normally lower bandwidth. So to set up application rate limiting, I would click on Admin and Services. I would click on Services and then Application Recognition and Control. As you can see from this diagram, the first tab is Application Overview. So it lists the top 10 applications by usage, and if I scroll down, I can see the top 10 clients by usage. What I want to do is click on the Application Policy tab. And what I want to do is set up some policy and some rules. So I'm going to click on Create New. I'm going to call this YouTube Rate Limiting. And for description, I'll just say YouTube Limiting. And then I need to set up my policy. So I'll click on Create New. And I have order, but since I don't have anything else in here, the order will be number one. So the rule type is either denial, rate limiting, or QoS. So I'm going to make this rule a rate limiting rule. The application type by default is system defined, but I could make it IP based, user defined, or port based. So I'll leave it system defined. What is the application that I want to go after? So I'm going to click on media streaming services. I'll scroll over here. What exactly do I want to rate limit? So I would click on this, and I'm going to put in YouTube just by typing the first letter. Then I'll click on Advanced Options, and I'll scroll over a little further. So I can set an uplink and a downlink speed. For uplink, I'll set 5 megabits, and for downlink, I'll set 10. That will give me bandwidth for other applications. And then I would click on Save. And then I would click OK. So now we have our first application rate limiting rule. And on this example, we're going to be rate limiting YouTube. So let's set up a QoS policy. So we'll click on Create New. And I'll say QoS. And I'll say Skype because that's what I want to set up my QoS on. I would click on Create New. I'm going to set this up as QoS, and I'm going to leave it as System Defined. It could be IP or Port Based, so we'll leave it on System Defined. The application is going to be Voice over IP Services, and Skype is already put in here, but I could select other type of Voice over IP Services, so we'll leave it at Skype. Under my Advanced Features, I have my uplink 802.1p or DSCP or both. I'll leave it at 802.1p. I could select voice, video, or best effort, and I'm going to leave this on voice since it's Skype. Download priority, voice, video, best effort. Download priority will be voice. And then I'll click on save. Then I'll click on OK. So now we've just created a QoS policy for voice over IP traffic. If I wanted to, I could go in and edit that, or I could clone that if for some reason, or if I wanted to delete it, I could select it here and then hit the delete button. And you can go through and create numerous rate limiting or QoS policies, and then you can rate these in priority. So this concludes a short demonstration on how to configure application rate limiting and QoS traffic shaping using the Unleashed user interface. Thank you.